Hey, sir, sorry it took me so long. I came from Powder Springs Road. I don't know where they are. Um, what's going on? How can I help you? Well, I've had this problem in the past with some of the administrators here. Okay. They tend to ignore uh, my kid. He's getting beat up. Mm -hmm. They came home crying. Oh, he's at home now. Okay. She came home crying. Same kid, bullying them all the time. Mm -hmm. And when I tell the administrators here, you know, they treat me like I'm nuts and I'm crazy. Okay. And uh, it, it, it's just getting out of hand now. Where are the administrators still here? No, and then and, and that's another thing. Uh, I called when they were here. Mm -hmm. My wife and I called, and they told my wife that they would call. They would call us days. back. Well, no, they would call us back okay. at home. Mm -hmm. uh, called several times. They all still in a meeting. Still in a meeting. How long ago was that? Uh, it would have been around two forty-five. Okay. Uh, you know, approximately 2.45 okay. when I made the, uh, the initial call to them around 2.30, 2.45. I, I can look it up, but it's, that's not too essential right now. They were here when I called and I said, look, you need to do something about this now. My son is getting bullied. He came home with a bloody nose uh, a couple of days ago mm -hmm. because a kid punched him in the nose. They did nothing about it. Today he comes home crying because some kid is bullying him verbally in, in, the, in the classroom. So it's and happening in, in the classroom, not in the, the school class, bus. No, no, no. Okay. Come on, it's happening in the classroom and in the cafeteria here. Okay. And they're doing nothing about it. And I recorded my uh, Melissa, okay. And I can get the recorder. Extremely dismissive. Okay. Uh, she said, well, you know what, you're going to have to deal with this another time. I want to go home to my family and, and took off. On the, on the telephone, she told me that. Well, what's your son's name? Uh, it's in his mind, Nick, or Nicholas. What's the last name? C-O-N. I'm sorry, C-O-N? C-O-N. Uh-huh. D-O-L-U-C-I. Condulce? Condulce. Condulce, okay. What's his birthday? Okay. And what grade is he in? Do you know his teacher or anything? Uh, Duchesne. He's his teacher. Fourth grade, Duchesne. Yeah, and it's not the first time with this kid. And, it's, and the teacher's talked to uh, the kid before. Mm -hmm. And the kid goes home on his, uh, his on the, he lives in our neighborhood over in Amberton. Okay. And um, uh, it's the same group of kids that's been bullying my son for years now. Over in so they've grown up together, and it, it's continuing to get worse. It's, it, yeah, exactly. Okay. It's getting worse. Now he's coming home with bloody noses. Okay. And you know what? The I'm going to walk inside in a few the minutes. school has a history of not following their bully. Uh, I'm going to see if policy. somebody's inside and if they'll let me in. That way I can talk to an administrator, see what's going on um, on their end. And I'm going to try to figure out where campus police is. Yeah. I don't know why they weren't out here today. I've been listening to their radio and none of them were on their radio. So I don't know what's going on. Sorry that it took us so long. No, it's but, um, I think it took you 15 minutes. I'm going to figure something out in a few minutes. 3, 17, I'm code 4. Hey, do you all know this guy? Have you all seen him before? I say he might know. Who works in the front office? She's one of our assistant principals. Awesome. So you saw the whole thing? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I, I was going to actually go to the restroom. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. He is upset because basically his son is in fourth grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. Okay. So y'all are familiar with him? We have a history with he, his we parents. We have a long history with his parents. He has filed go numerous. That's probably a lot, too. Yeah, go to the... Yeah, Basically, yeah. all he told me was his son's been getting bullied for the last few years, um, fourth grade. Mm -hmm. He came home with a bloody nose the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, he came home today verbally abused. Mm -hmm. So he's just trying to figure out what to do. Yep. So he said y'all we were, were very dismissive with it. I, 
I don't know. We were told that you were going to <laughs> escort him off of campus. Still, He's already see. received uh, in that Cobb County is going to be issuing a no trespass. No okay, who told you guys that? Um, the area superintendent for our school system. Cobb County, or uh, the CCSD police is aware yeah, of this. CCSD okay, because I'm not. That, that's the reason right. why I'm asking. Okay. Right. Um, and that's, I'm not quite really sure why they're not here. We've had to call both of ours. And I'm thinking the same thing. Um, get a hold of them. Um, I can. There's a number in my office for CCSD police, not our officers. I can try and call them and see if they can send somebody from CCSD police to us. What's, what's that number I'm calling? Um, let me go get it. Because I was listening to their radio. I scanned everyone and they were all quiet. I don't have my key. Oh, okay. I'm already this far. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be issuing a no trespass warning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just the CCSD police. This is our old officer, and then we have our new officer. Who do y'all have now? Uh, Kurtz, Officer Kurtz. Okay. Was he here today? Uh, I did not see him today. Hey, this is Officer Danny with Cobb County Police. Hey, uh, we were trying to get in touch with you guys. I'm over here at Kemp Elementary School, and I've got a disgruntled parent that the school says that they're very familiar with. You guys have a long history with the guy. Um, I'm sorry, do what? Okay. I, I'm not too sure, sir. Um, they just said that you guys have a long, extensive history with him. Um, he's upset saying that his son is being abused at school, being mistreated by other students and such. Um, so anyways, I'm out here with him. I know they couldn't raise... Okay. Uh, I can. Um, I think it's Kurtz on our radio right now. He's trying to make contact with us. So I'll, I'll figure something out. I'll try to get with him. Thanks, sir. Bye. Uh, do y'all have Kurtz's number? Yes. Awesome. We have a couple. Uh, I'm not able to get a hold of him. 5317 to campus PD officer on our radio. Three 
2017. Hey, sir, I'm going to give you a phone call in just a minute. He's at Loving Good right now, directing traffic. So okay. no one could raise him, Kurtz. Um, so anyways, when I called the office, they were trying to figure out what he's doing, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm over here. That's why everybody's trying to figure out what what needs to be done, how it needs to be done, you know, because I think it, if it's our reports, it goes into our system, but it doesn't go into theirs. Right. So it's one of those things, if we start two different files, we don't have the same paperwork in each file. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just talked to Jamie Frost, who's one of the area superintendents, and she said that they let Mark Smith's secretary know that this was going on, and Mark Smith is the one over all of CPSD. Okay. Police. Can you give me that second number? Yeah. They didn't answer that. Uh, Marnie's out of town. Stepson's wedding. Awesome, thank you. Hey, sir, it's Downey. I'm over here at the school. They've got a parent, um, Cartolucci or something like that, Nick. Okay, he's over here just saying that his son has been abused and such. Um, it's been an ongoing issue. The school said that you are familiar with him, that y'all already started paperwork on him. Um, basically, okay. Okay, well, he's up at the front of the school. He's not inside the building. We're just trying to figure out what to do with him. Um, that's where they, they said they couldn't raise you guys on step, so. <laughs> nah, you're good. Um, he, he's just saying that his son came home with a bloody nose the other day. It's happening inside the school. It's not on the bus or anything. It's inside the classroom. Um, the front office being very dismissive with him. And today his son came home verbally abused by another student. He said, yes, I know, <laughs> I know. Um, you know, I'm just kind of taking what he says. And then he says that they all grew up in the same neighborhood. You know, it's fourth grade. They've been doing this for a few years. So it sounds like his kid's just being picked on from local neighborhood. I'm not too sure. Um, well, that's where I didn't I didn't know what was going on. You know, I've never had a run in with him or anything. So that's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys need from us? I mean, do y'all have an office where I, I need to give them your office number and file a complaint later? I mean, Okay, because I, I know you're you're ten six at the moment, so. Okay. He was upset because his son came home today, and he called the school, and the school said they were in a meeting. They'll call him back, and he called around like two forty five, and at four he said that the school never called him back, so he showed up here. Um, that's why he's upset. He's not getting answers. Okay. So, I'll tell him, um, do you have his number and everything? All of his 39? Okay. Okay. I will. All right. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Will do. Awesome. Will do. Appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. <laughs> well, I know you guys were all busy. Like I said, I listen out the radio and everybody's 10 6. Yeah. I got you. All right. Okay, well, I'll let him know. Awesome, appreciate it. See ya. Okay, so that was Kurtz. Um, he said he's busy at Loving Good right now, but he's going to try to call this guy Monday and figure something out. If Monday doesn't satisfy this guy, then they'll get somebody else out here. You guys just want him away from the property right now, yes. right? Yes. All right. Yes. I'm going to try to make him go home. Okay. That'd be great. Do y'all need anything else from us other than... Once he's gone, we'll leave. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I know y'all got to get home. I was on the phone when yeah, the campus. Hey, sir. So I went inside, talked to them in the front office, and then I interrupted everything they've got going on. Um, I got the school district. Like I said, I was on the way over here. They're on a different radio frequency. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to them. They're all busy at the moment. So I contacted their mm -hmm. office. Their office tried to get in touch with their officers. Their officers weren't listening to radio, so everybody's calling on cell phones. Officer Kurtz, I don't know if you're familiar with him, he used to be over here. He's over at Loving Good right now, but I believe he's a supervisor. He might be a sergeant, I want to say. Um, he said he's been over there for nine months. He's busy right at this moment. He said if if you can wait till Monday, he will call you and contact you on Monday. If not, if you call the school district, then they can send another officer out. But the officer does not work for this school, so they don't they don't know what's going on. So basically he was saying till Monday because he's having a homecoming parade and everything right now. That's what he's busy with. So my kid's getting bullied and sent home a bloody notice while he's having a good time on a parade. Hey, yeah, he, he's working the parade is yeah, what I'm saying. It, it sounds kind of a weird situation. It doesn't sound right to me. It okay. doesn't sound right that, you know, you can have one of your students getting bullied, coming home with bloody noses while you're off, you know, having a good time making parades. I, I wouldn't say it's a good time. Directing traffic on it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, oh, I misunderstood. I misunderstood. No, no, no. The, the officer's I working the parade. Okay, no, 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 no. I misunderstood. No, he's he's outside, away from his car. That's the reason why okay. they couldn't hear the radio. Okay. Yeah. No, so, no, no, I misunderstood. What you're saying. Um, that's why he was saying, if you can wait till Monday, he knows you're frustrated, and rightfully so as a parent. I mean, you want the best for your kid, and when you see this going on, well, you want answers. My, my 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 issue here is the neglect. Mm -hmm. Because they have a certain responsibility as as uh, as teachers, as faculty, and, yeah, yeah, and I mean they have a legal responsibility mm -hmm. for the safety of the kids, and they're not doing that. Okay, that's the reason why I called Kurtz um, because I don't know what all they can do. I know if if they know something's going on between two students, they can separate them. I understand that, yeah. um, but as far as campus police documenting everything, because a bloody nose is different mm -hmm. from I hate you. Yeah, sure is. It's very different. So that's where campus police are involved. Um, that's the reason why I was trying to reach out to him, and that's the reason why he said he would call you back. He's just busy right this second. Okay. So. And then my and my another issue is how they could just look away and ignore this. The teachers, not the police. Right. The 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 teachers and the administrators. That that would be something you might have to discuss with Kurtz, um, because I don't know. My wife's a teacher. I don't know what all they can and can't do on certain things. Obviously, if two kids are fighting, I know they can't. It's one of those things, you know. You have to be very careful and control yourself. Oh, no, no, no. no. Well, yeah, no, you, but, can't, you can't get physical with the, with the child. But they have administrative tools that they, and, mm -hmm. they, and they have it. Look, zero, zero uh, tolerance of bullying right there. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. But, ah. yeah, but yeah, and that policy is a very step-by-step plug-and-play thing. Yeah. And they're not following It's a zero that. tolerance. Um, and they're not following that. I, I would speak to Kurtz about it, and this might be something. Have you spoken to a superintendent? I've sent oh, them cool. emails. I've sent okay. Them emails. I would probably follow up with another one, just stating this, because, I mean, every school you go to, it's a no-bully zone. It's zero yeah. tolerance for bullying, discrimination, harassment. Yeah, and, and, and the big problem is I've sent emails. Mm -hmm. I have a, a 20, 20 email addresses I send to the superintendent's okay. office. Because, you know, I, I'm not quiet about this. And they, they told me, well, I'm rude. Okay. So, you know what? Who the hell cares if I'm, my kid's getting bullied? You're upset. And, he, and he's getting injured. Right. They're not real big on the First Amendment here. You have to use their word list. Okay. You have to say it the way they say it, how they want you to say it. Otherwise, they ignore you. Okay. Which violates law, by the way. I mean, they well, legally they have to respond to these things. I, I would tell Kurtz everything as far as you feel like the front office, uh, the faculty here, even the the teachers, the supervisors, you know, well, I'm administrators. Not sure about, uh, the, the teacher. I think she's a good person. I don't think she's ignoring it. The administrators. It's not Mrs. Okay. Duchesne, the teacher. It's the administrators. Okay. Wow. <laughs> because I got Bill over there in a hell of a lot of trouble about four years ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the superintendent's office apologized to me and everything else. I would tell Kurtz that um, because he's probably, if he can't do anything about it, it would be the superintendent. But, I mean, you, you got to go higher up the ladder, you know. If, if you're not happy with one rung, you have to go to their boss. And I know Campus PD is one of those things, like I said, they should be able to solve this very quickly. Uh, is Story still in, uh, in charge over there? I'm not Campus sure. Campus police? Is the captain? I'm not sure at all. I don't know any of the guys. Like I said, I had to go in there and figure out who the campus officer is here. And he's working in another school right now, so that's what he was just saying. If, if you could wait till Monday, if not, he can send another officer out to your house, possibly, or call you. But that officer won't know what's going on. They won't know who your son is, what class he's in. They won't know anything about the school. Um, I believe it'd probably be the officer from Osborne High School. It's my guess. So, Osborne, it's over. You know where Austell Road area is? Yeah. Okay, it's over in there. So it's <laughs> it's not even the same area. Um, it, it's a headache, and I understand, and I'm sorry. I wish I could do something, but like I said, they couldn't reach no, them, so they playing, called us out. <coughs> they're, they're, they're playing the game of ignore, let time pass, ignore, and let time pass, ignore, and so it goes away. What I would do is I'd go ahead and write everything down, document when you called. They stated they would call back. Yeah. They never called back. I, I arrived I at this day. When, when I was on the telephone with them, mm -hmm. I have a GoPro, Okay. and I, and I recorded my entire conversation. I have everything word for word. There's no mistakes, no interpretations, no, this is it. All right. Well, that's what I would do. That way, you know, they, somebody's going to be held responsible, you know. Oh. Do, you, do you record this at all or no? Yeah, yeah everything's right. on body camera. Uh, do you have a, do you have like a call record number? I can make one. It's only going to say I showed up. Yeah, that's, that's great. And if you could just put your like 317, code 15. Put your name and your badge number down for me. Okay. Last name's Downey, D O W N E Y, badge number 3124. And that and that's is. That's the record number? Yeah, that's our case number for it. Oh, case number. It's literally just going to say I showed up, spoke to you. I contacted Kurtz. Kurtz said that he would call you back. Okay. So you, you wouldn't have to have, uh, uh, you don't have a cam, do you? Yeah, yeah, I've got a body cam. You got a body cam? Oh, 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 it's hidden there. I just yeah. didn't even see it. All right, great. So um, I'll get a copy of the body cam. Well, it's all in the report it should be. Mm hmm. It'll all be there. All right. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Hey, sir, if I'm going to write that, I'm going to need your information. I think I gave it to you. Right. You might have given my partner. No, no, I gave it to you. I got your son's name. Same name. Okay, what's your birthday? Phone number? And your address? 1133. Amberton Lane. Awesome, thank you.
Okay. Alright, thank you. Get that in. Have a good one. Three seventeen, I'm tonight.